What's up guys, this is your daily twin flame energy reading. Today I'm reading this energy. It's September 3rd. So this will be for September 3rd and September 4th. But you may not resonate with this energy on this day. It could resonate last week, this week. It could be something that spirit wants to relate to you for something in the future. So anyway, September 3rd is just the day that I'm doing the reading and it might be released on September 4th but <clears throat> again it could resonate at any time <coughs> potentially the time that you're viewing it this is for divine masculine and divine and divine feminine you may resonate with the energy of the feminine today and the masculine tomorrow you may resonate with the masculine and the feminine energy it just all depends on your situation, and it all depends on your journey and where you are and the unification of the dualities of yourself internally and externally. By that, I mean your higher self, your true self, and with your true partner. This reading was brought to you by Gym Body TMC, my gym fitness apparel line. I ask for your support. I'm not getting a lot of support from the people that I know, so I'm asking the people that I do readings for to support me in my pre-order effort. I need to get 60 pre-orders and actually my deadline was like the other day. So I'm still trying to meet my pre-order goal. I haven't gotten nearly as much support as I should and that I give. But it's okay. People don't always give you the support that you give. But anyway, if you want to support me in my effort and you want to work out in cool necks and hoodies like we do and be a part of gym culture, click the link in my description. I got that attachment card for someone's reading earlier today heavy karmic energy going on okay and I got this too in that same reading weird what's under here envy fitness like what is with this energy so yeah support me in my gym body effort overall energy of this reading we have uh, well first we're going to talk about the oracle cards before we get into tarot we have all tied up we have envy we have attachment and a man holding the heart. Five, four, five, two, three, and twenty. What is going on? So why are you all five tied up? Or someone is all tied up based on um, something's holding them back. They're attached to something that they need to release. Karmic energy, tied to this damn karmic energy. Listen, I if. Honestly, I'm in an energy of I'm no longer accepting someone from the past. I don't give a flying F-U-C-K who you are. It's like I'm not in, I don't care anymore. It's, it's not that I don't care. It's like I'm not interested in someone from the past anymore because what have they really done for me? Like who, why should, why do they deserve me? That's the energy I'm in. And I'm really sick of this karmic shit, too. So anyway, we have the attachment and man holding the heart. So it's like someone is attached to the past or someone is can't let go. Maybe it's the feminine can't let go of a man with a heart. Or it could be the masculine energy, the masculine. I got to stop watching Terror Prophecy. I'm starting to talk like her. It could be the masculine energy attached to a karmic. It could be the feminine energy attached to a karmic. It could be both. But it's a heavy attachment to a man with a heart or a heavy attachment to someone in the past. And you're feeling all tied up. Maybe you're jealous. Maybe that person is moving on and or something is causing some sort of envy. And this envy is keeping you tied up. But this jealousy is keeping you tied up. It could be several different scenarios depending on it, who it is. But you could be trying to move on and your karmic is jealous and therefore causing drama and keeping you all tied up mentally and unable to move forward because they're causing conflict and drama in your life. Or it could be... Oh. It's crazy because on it's, all, it's feminine energy being tied up. Masculine energy holding a heart so it could be the feminine the masculine is jealous of your attachment to someone in the past or some or, or a man you could be attached to a man and it's causing the masculine to be a bit jealous or envious this envy card is feminine 
or of the female. But either way, someone is, is and it's the thinking man right under it, trying to overcome this obstacle of being attached to the past or attached to something that no longer serves you. Interesting. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I like these decks, but you know, it's hard to shuffle sometimes. These really thick decks. I'm getting my own. I was going to, um, I am going to create my own tarot deck uh, with Kabbalistic messages and making it more definitely different type of tarot. Um, comprehensive tarot deck of numerology and um, Kabbalah and um, Gematria. And, um, and I could say that I'm not ready about it. Stealing my, stealing my ideas because they don't have my mind. Anyway, two of swords. Someone is making a decision. Maybe that's why you're all tied up. You want to make a decision, but you're not sure um, what role to take. This is masculine or feminine. Still being attached to something that you need to release and not being able to make a decision. Choosing to be alone, the hermit. So, instead of making a decision, you choose to be alone. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I just did a reading. Crashed five times. No cap. So irritated, I almost didn't want to do it. So I'm going to be saving these readings throughout it periodically. You might see a loop. That's because I saved it, like now. Four of Wands. Union. But what's with this union? Whoo, child. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What's up with this spiritual connection? Why does it have to be so hard? So we have the Union card. We have Four of Wands, but we have Seven of Cups with it. Choosing to be single because you don't know what decision to choose. I help you. Let go of this karmic attachment. Let go of the past. Let go of codependencies. Let go of fear. Choose faith. Release fear. Choose faith. But this energy, feminine or masculine energy that I am, and honestly, this is the feminine no lie. I cannot lie to you. We we down these masculines. I think the feminine is attached to a man from the past. Can't move forward. Can't choose. Feeling all tied up. Um, the envy, I'm not, maybe that could be the masculine energy being envious of this connection the feminine has with the man from the past. But this feminine cannot move forward. Choosing to be single because you have a lot of choices and you don't know which one to choose. And this energy keeps coming up in my readings and it's for a reason. It ain't me though. I'm not attached to nobody in my past. And now I do live in a very dead house. So. That's only because I just moved in the area. Not because we're together, though. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have the Tower and the Princess of Pentacles. So, there's an offer. There's an offer that comes forth that it's almost like being forced to make a decision or being forced by spirit to take an offer by circumstances. But it's not a, it's a premature offer. Not that the princesses are premature. It's, it's an offer, but I'm not getting firm here. I'm getting, huh, here you go. Like, lackadaisical, here you go, here's my heart. And being forced by circumstances to consider this offer. Interesting. Okay. Whose energy is this? I don't know. This is this feminine energy. Excuse me, guys. It is. Been a long day. I have gotten so I'm so addicted to my masculine energy. I like work, 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 work. I love to work now. Queen of Swords, clarity of mind, clarity of thoughts. After 
feeling tied up, after feeling... See, the towers are ally, not the opposition. It may feel like the opposition. It may hurt. It may feel like challenging times, but it's really for our good. So we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Eight of Swords. After a feeling of being tied up, after a feeling of feeling like you can't make a decision, gain clarity of thought. So the tower pushes you to consider offers or to, yeah, to consider the, consider the offers that came to you. And you gain clarity of thought after a feeling of being tied up or feeling tied up. It's just an illusion, though. It's a feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're thinking of who should I build with? Who, who matches my vibe? Who brings me emotional fulfillment? Yeah, it's still decision time. You, you know, you have the moon there and you have the seven of pentacles. It's still energy of, you know, I'm making a decision. I'm gaining clarity of thought, but I'm gaining that clarity by thinking, who do I want to build with? Who matches my vibe? And you have the two of um, pentacles here too. Who provides me with balance? Again, this is decision. I, I'm clear with what brings me emotional fulfillment now. But now the issue is, well, who can bring me, who can do that for me? Who matches my vibe? Who um, fits in my life? Yeah, yeah. I just did this. This reading finally uploaded for, um, I feel so bad. People be waiting all day for these readings. And then for it to be taken all day to upload. I hope it's available to her because I just sent her the link. You know, crashing five times and then, um, I'm sorry, I keep going off on tangents. But I really, like, re recorded that reading five times and had to start over too because sometimes I feel like when it crashes and it doesn't send, um, that it's not meant for that person to get that message. A girl or a guy, man. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups. This offer of love. Okay, so it's like, who matches my vibe? Who wants, who can build with me and who fits in my life? I, I, I get um, that it's time to make a decision. This tower moment is kind of forcing me to make a decision. And what's so crazy, I'm no, no lie. When I was washing the dishes just earlier today, I just felt like, what if the feminine, it just came in my mind for some reason, like gets in a situation where she has to choose. And the reason why I was thinking that is because I was thinking I didn't want to deal with nobody from my past, honestly. Like I go through so much and I'm trying so hard to make it. Nobody's supporting and helping me. Like I can't even get people to pre-order a gym body um, to support my business. So why should they deserve to be me when I finally become balanced and when I finally make it? You don't fucking deserve to be in my life. That's what I was feeling like today. And then what the thought came in my mind, like, well, what if something happened in my life where I need a partner? Where I feel like I need a partner, like, to feel safe or to just be, you know, together with somebody. But really early, I was thinking to be safe, to feel safe. Like, what if something happens and I feel like I need my partner there with me in my home? And literally, it came out in this reading. The tower moment, forcing the feminine energy to make a decision. Giving her clarity of mind or clear, bringing clear thoughts in her mind, but making the decision who builds, who can build with me, who fits in my life, who balances, who's, who's my other half, who balances me. Yeah, so I don't know what, what could possibly happen. I don't wish any negative energy or vibes or anyone, but again, towers lead us to the sun. It's, not, it's our allies, not our opposition. Ten of Cups, yeah. Who's, who's an ally? Who's bringing me emotional fulfillment and happiness? Who is, who's the completion to my family? And who's the opposition? And who is the opposition? Still questions the Seven of Swords energy. Still not knowing who the ally is and who the op is. I'm going to call all of them ops right now. Until somebody support me in my business, they all ops. No lie. 
Sorry, guys. All right, Bill. Here we go. Back into this um, Nine of Swords. Yeah. Feeling trapped energy. Not knowing what to do. Feminine. But one thing you need to do, don't be attached to no nobody from no man with a heart. Don't be attached to nobody that is not providing you with a gift. Yes. Don't don't feel tied up. Don't be in the envious, envious jealousy energy. Don't let anyone else's jealousy move you or keep you attached. Let go of whoever this jealous person is. Let go of this attachment you have to the past and move forward. Then you have the chariot and the hierophant. Finally, moving forward. Finally, look at that eye. Now I'll put it in the circle because that's pretty. Y'all see that? I hope you can see it. <laughs> Moving forward with an offer and being happy and free. Coming together with your divine partner and being happy and free. All right. So what did this story tell? This was the feminine's energy. Maybe spirits like you always start with the masculine. We're going to start with the feminine. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the hanged woman. I knew it was the feminine. The hanged woman. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Multiple opportunities in alignment with your future, in alignment with who you are, and your plans going off without a hitch. But going through a period of indecision, going through a period of not knowing what to do because of an attachment to someone in the past. What if it's the person you thought was your divine partner? What if that's the person you have to let go? What if that's the person you're so attached to and spirit is, is pushing you in this tower moment to let go of? But this is a feminine who is going to go through a period of indecision, experience the tower moment, pushing her towards the masculine that she's supposed to be with, pushing her towards a decision to choose the one that brings emotional fulfillment, to choose the what, first of all, to know exactly what it is that he or she wants in, in their life and to choose a person that best fits with what you want in your life. Let's check on the masculine now. Let me save this. My computer is no longer crashing. That's crazy. My computer kept crashing. I feel like maybe Spirit didn't want me to deliver that reading to her, but I she paid. I was gonna send her, her money back. Um but I went on ahead and did a reading, so we'll see what happens from it. Yeah, it'll work out. Anyway. Let's check on the masculine. So while the feminine is in this indecision energy, this attachment energy, an offer is coming in, not knowing which one to choose energy. Who's the opposition? Why is the feminine trying to figure out who the op and who the ally is? Um, what is the masculine going through, spirit? What is our divine masculine going through? What if this? What if, what if the masculine is now resonating as the feminine and feminine as the masculine like the other reading? What if it's the masculine that's attached to someone? But, I don't know, it could be the feminine. But, you know, I'm not saying, okay, what if it's a male energy attached to someone from the past? And it's trying to figure out who the op is and who the ally is. Figure it out, but don't be too late, bud, if that's the case. Because I'm not, I'm... If I'm your feminine, you got a fucking job because I'm not about to just be jumping on nobody's bandwagon. High Priestess. Okay. Union. Getting in tune with who you really are. So the mas masculine is getting in touch with the feminine energy to become one. With the dualities of his or herself. Interesting. Oh, what's this? But it's hard. It's a burden. But it's not to worry. The light is with you. Hmm. It's like. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. 
<laughs> I just sent the reading and was getting feedback. I love positive feedback. So anyway, so this is deciding who it is to marry. I thought this was, you know, getting in touch with your higher self and coming to union and it's a burden. It is that, but it's also a decision that needs to be made as to change to the feminine. So that is the, the feminine. That's the, that is the feminine. Y'all, that first energy I was talking about, the person that usually resonates with the feminine, that is that. Because this time it's like, this is the energy of making a decision as to who the feminine is in his or her life and, and coming together with her, him or her. But it's a burden. But nothing is fear, nothing to worry. The light is with you. Follow the light. Follow the North Star home. Masculine. Follow the North Star home. I know I was just in a tangent before I paused this. Talking about not being with someone. I don't know. I'm, I'm on one right now. You can't have me. Sorry. Yep. Entering a next phase of life. It's really time for a decision. How does stuff just pop up when I'm saying it? Like, this is meant the magician. It's really time to make a decision because it's really time to level up. It's the level up challenge, divine masculine. It's time to level up. It's time to make a decision. This decision is not a burden. It's not, it's the sun. You, the light is at the end of the tunnel. You just don't see it. You choose the person you want to be with and you move forward. You have 10 10. This is more life. This is better times. This is next level. Like you don't see it, maybe. It see it looks like a burden right now, but it really isn't. Spirit is trying to bless you with the feminine. You need to figure out who the op and the ally is in your life. Maybe the op is your inability to make a decision and move forward with it and stand firm with the person you're supposed to be with. Maybe your op is your lack of faith. Yes, we have the fool and the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. It's time to move forward. You're afraid that it's going to hurt. You're afraid that this next phase of life is going to hurt. But you have to have faith. In order to move forward, masculine, you have to go within and have faith. It's not, you may think it's going to hurt, but my son told me, and I don't know if I showed, so, um, oh, and I'll post this video too, here too, so you can guys hear. Um, Jordan Woods said it today, and my son said it the other day. My son said, I was trying out for basketball. I was so nervous. I didn't know what to do. I was afraid. And once I started doing it and it was over, I realized it was easier than I thought it was going to be. And he was telling me that story because I was, you know, starting gym body. Don't have all the money to do so. I was worried. And my son said, it was, it's going to be easy. It's easier than you think. Jordan was posting a video today. She said she was going up a hill. She thought that she wouldn't make it to the top and made it in five minutes. It was easier than she thought. I said all that to say, it's easier than you think. And I'm gonna post that video on here too. Actually, let's watch it right now. Just got back home and that was a hill I thought that we would not be able to get to the top of and we completed it in five minutes. So moral of the story, don't be afraid to challenge yourself and try new things because it may be a lot easier than you think. Anyway, just in case you needed to hear it from Jordan Woods, it's harder. I mean, it's easier than you think, masculine. It's going to be okay. You're you're applying so much pressure on yourself. Um, interesting. So, it's going to take faith to enter this new phase of life because you're afraid it's going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt. But... You're afraid. You don't have the proper faith. Maybe that's why you're holding on to your offer. With the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. By holding on to the, your offer, you hold back on new beginnings. You hold back on better times. You hold back on this new phase of life. You hold back on true love, true lights, and being with the person that's in alignment with your chakras, that's in alignment with your body, that's in alignment with your body, mind, and spirit, that balances you and brings you to, you, you're whole by yourself. You're trying to be whole by yourself, but if you was whole by yourself, you also have faith. So you're working on that, 
but this person would help you lead you to more a whole life you know a relationship with equal give and take but you're holding on to your offer you're not gonna get it if by not taking action in order to get to the other side you gotta be brave enough to take that step to do so it's not you may feel like it's gonna hurt maybe you experience some pain but it's really gonna be okay it really is it's easier than you think maybe that's what i'll name this like masculine it's easier than you think honestly with all the stuff that i'm talking <laughs> i can see why my masculine would be a little intimidated especially where my life is going and i'm talking all this stuff i can see why the masculine would be intimidated but just have faith it's easier than you think yeah king of wands in the world on the other side of this obstacle is the world a new phase better times resolution taking charge overcoming this obstacle brings you to a new phase of life holding back on the offer stagnates you and you know when we get stagnant and complacent spirit gives us a tower moment but holding back on this offer stagnates you but moving forward and resolving and having a confidence to pursue your goals leads to more life leads to better times leads to manifestation of a better world putting you in a better place yep last one get out of your head what can you do to get out of your head you can meditate you can rest recuperate re-energize yourself and prepare you for this next phase get out of your head meditate rest get your energy back up because when it's time it's time and that brings us to, to the end um to the sorry i'm not pulling anymore but the overall energy again for the masculine knight of swords re-energize so you can be put in a better place re-energize so you can go put the energy into this offer and manifest this new phase of life with the feminine that's better than what you're attached to now the other feminine may appear that he or she is attached to someone from the past but the bindings are loose the bindings are not real it's an illusion and i promise you if this feminine is a balanced person um, of her masculine and feminine energy and one with god and focused on that no karmic is gonna hold her back him or her back so re-energize yourself re-energize your thoughts get out of your head meditate rest and prepare yourself for this new phase of life and this journey of pursuit of the feminine and it will not as easier it won't take as long as you think and it's easier than you think Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you feel. You know, this one's a different kind of reading. Um, I just started pulling cards. Anyway, I wish you love. I wish you lights. I wish you more life. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Comment, comment, comment. Please, and pre-order a Gym Body TMC hoodie. Because the marathon continues through me and you.